In this video, I'm going to explain the map HUD and we're going to make our own little mini map just for demonstration. Uh, so you can see that I'm in a level right now. This is actually the Aztec uh, kit uh, test level. And uh, right now we don't have a mini map. So we're going to build one. If I press M, I do have a regular map. So you can kind of see uh, the map overlay here. You can see the character dots. All these little dots are characters. Uh, these green dots are objectives. Um, so I'll show you how all that works. Um, there's no real reason to explore the map right now. So I'm just going to exit the uh, level and I'm going to exit uh, this editor as well. And we're going to go straight into HUD 4, which is the map HUD. So this is what we saw when I pressed M in the uh, level. All right, so right away we have one large image in the background. This is mostly decorative. This doesn't actually have any settings uh, to speak of. It's not until you get into the center here. So this uh, image is not just decorative. Um, this is actually the map windows. You, uh, if you've watched previous HUD videos, you know that this is what's called an, a user-defined global image, which is located right over here. And you assign a global uh, definition to it, a, a global variable. In this case, it's a pre-built variable called map colon window. So this is the window for the map. That's what we see when we pull up the map, the size of it. Um, and then inside that map window is another, a separate uh, user-defined global image. Um, this time it's map colon image. So there's an important note here. It says map image will be replaced with the map snapshot associated with each level of your game project. So bear that in mind. I will explain how to make a, a map image here in a moment. Um, basically what it's saying is that this is a placeholder image it doesn't actually, it's not going to be this size. It's not going to be this, this image exactly. It's a placeholder and it's going to get replaced with the map image that we like the snapshot that we take in a moment. Okay. So these little dots are also just little images, user defined global image. Um, this time, uh, each one of these have its, has its own user defined global, um, assigned to it. So this white one here is the player. Uh, oops, let me click back onto it. There we are, map colon player. Uh, if we click on the green one, we see it's, uh, oh, it's wind zone. I got it wrong earlier. I think I said it was an objective. It's wind zone is the green one. It doesn't really matter. You can honestly assign these to whichever color you prefer. Uh, I'm just sticking with the way they've got it set up as the demo. Um, this one was the objective. So the yellow one would be map colon objective. And then we have map colon character. So any character is going to show up as a red dot. That, that means that allies, neutral enemies, they're all characters. They're, they're all indistinguishable uh, in that way. Um, you could put a zone down underneath. Let's suppose you had like a prisoner that you're supposed to go in uh, and release. You could put a zone down underneath that and make that an objective. Um, that's one way to do it. Um, but right now there's not any distinction between characters. It is something that I've recommended, uh, but it's just not available today. Okay. So that is as simple as it gets when it comes to making a HUD. It's really just a bunch of global images, um, uh, assigned to global variables. Uh, that are all predefined. I mean, you can't really make it any simpler than that. Let's go make a mini map on uh, the game screen. So in game HUD is right over here. And we're just going to repeat these steps. So we're going to say uh, we're going to use a global defined image. It doesn't really matter what image you choose. Um, I'm just I would think I'm going to stick with this and we'll put it right up here. Uh, I am going to make it a little bit bigger. So let's do see what 200 looks like that's not too bad we'll go with that uh, we want to call this our map window remember that's the size of the mini map 
So maybe, eh, let's make it 150. I think it's a little big. That's pretty good. Mini map should be mini, right? There we go. So user defined global image map window. We're going to need another one. Uh, this one we will have to change. So I'm just going to dip into the image bank. Um, and I'm just going to use all the, the ones that they that come with uh, Game Room Max. You can use whatever you like. Um, we need to shrink this down. So let's say hmm, 30%. No, that's too small. 40 that's not that bad. That's not too bad. It doesn't really matter because it's going to fill the window, right? And then uh, this is going to be our map image. There we go. And we also need our little dots. So these are also user defined global images. Yeah, be under HUD library towards the bottom. There. So the first one, the white one, was the player. Again, you can make it whichever color you like. It really doesn't matter. It's not going to know the difference. So map players, just put that over. Can we move it? There we go. And just for tidiness sake, let's make that a little smaller. And we'll do this a few more times. There we go. And now we have our mini map all set up here. So let's test it out. Make sure I didn't goof anything up. So I promised you earlier that I was going to show you how to make a uh, map image. So we're going to uh, here on the level that we want to make the, uh, the snapshot. We're going to click this drop down here and we're going to choose take map snapshot. That's going to open up this screen here. And really all you got to do is click this button. And then uh, you can uh, you can actually use this as the level uh, background as well. So we'll use new snapshot, and then that'll be that replaces the the small image that we had in our uh, window earlier. So let's give it a try. Okay, so as you can see, we've got a mini map. It's not a great one. It's this weird rectangle just kind of floating over there. We could probably style it up, make it look a little nicer, but it does work. We can see my character moving. Uh, let's exit this room. I think we have to spin that wheel. There we go. Spin that wheel. All right. And then uh, I'm just kind of looking around. I think if I approach those soldiers there in the distance, they're going to attack me. So I don't want to do that. Um, if I press M, you can see I've moved there as well. Here's the wind zone. We don't have any of the other zones on there, so we don't see those. But that's okay. Um, but that's it. These are really simple to make, uh, really quick and simple. So hopefully that's not too bad. If you enjoyed the video, uh, please be sure to click the like button below. If you're new here, or if you just haven't subscribed yet, now's the time to do so. Go ahead and click the subscribe button, uh, right next to that. And if you would like a notification, anytime I release a new video, just click the bell icon. That's going to be your friend and notify you when new videos were released. Okay. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching all the way through and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.